I hope you got to go out and enjoy that beautiful weather. Today, I'm going to read a book to you um, called The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. And we've been kind of looking at this book and thinking about what we were going to do for roles in our play, characters in our play. So I hope if I read it today, you'll have fun with all the enrichment activities that we have posted. And maybe next week, um, we'll figure out who's going to play what role in the play. So right now, I have a guest speaker who's going to come and read this book to you. Your favorite person from the kindergarten room. Hello, children. It's Gloria. I'm so happy to see you and so happy to be up here from Florida. Ms. Martin is going to let me read the grouchy ladybug today, so I hope you enjoy it. It was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. And it puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Zzzz. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew on. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening up its large jaw. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug, and flew on. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening up its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out with its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want a fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail, Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, 
said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? <laughs> if you insist, said the hyena, <laughs> laughing eerily and showing its teeth. <laughs> oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. <laughs> oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. Oh, you're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew on. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, there you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There's still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said a wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. And the fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Thank you, friends. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I hope you look at all the enrichment activities you can do this week. Have a great day. I love you and miss you, and I can't wait to see you back in the classroom. Mwah.